us about your cancer journey. I understand you were a student, you were studying medicine in Moscow when you discovered you had cancer. During that time, I was a student in fought here in Moscow and actually I detected uh, my breast cancer. It initially started when I was having a shower and I noticed there's a lump on my nipple on the right side. So, you know, being a medical student, of course, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I went to see my lecturer, which is a doctor in hospital, and then she did the ultrasound scan and she said it's, uh, it's a lump. So we did a biopsy. But then on that day, <laughs> in Moscow itself, I ran away. That means I did not perform the biopsy with her. Instead, I called my parents. I said, uh, I think I had to go back because I need to check on my breast. Mm -hmm. And I had a feeling it's not going to be just a simple lump or anything. But then, try to be more positive. So, I told my mom, it's okay, mama. I just go back first. I check and see. How? Right. Okay. So, mm. Was there was there a reason why you didn't want to do the biopsy in Russia? Only reason is because my parents is not with me. My, I'm alone there with right. my friends, of course. But then, if anything happened, then I'll be alone, no support. So, I thought of just go back and. Uh, okay. Mm. So t then, what happened? You came back. I came back on the same day. I bought the flight ticket. That wow. evening, I flew back to Malaysia, and the next day, we went to see the doctor. On the same day, we did the biopsy. Mm -hmm. uh, not biopsy, we did the lumpectomy uh, straight away. And then Dr. Hajit sent it for uh, to the lab la, to check. And the result came out after one week. It's okay. cancerous. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, at what stage was it? Uh, that time is 2B. And then I had to undergo a second operation, which, which is the axillary clearance and also uh, the advanced clearing la, at mm -hmm. the same area. That means second operation. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I understand that there was no chemo involved, but mm -hmm. you had 25 rounds of radiotherapy? Yeah, radiotherapy. Okay. So this would have taken weeks, yeah, if not months from your schedule. Mm -hmm. um, um, what happened with school? What happened at university? I, <laughs> I stopped for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I stopped for a while, yeah. Until everything settled, I'm back to normal and then only I feel back. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, when you said stop for a while, mm -hmm. what was it? A couple of months? A year? Six months. Almost six months because I need to repeat a half year course mm -hmm. at the university. But then I managed to catch up within one year so I don't need to repeat one year program. Looking back at that, you felt that was the better decision for you? Yeah, because that time after I finished my radiotherapy, I'm very weak and yeah. like very, uh, very weak and tired, and almost every day I feel like just sleeping. So my parents thought of just transfer the credit to Malaysia and continue study in Malaysia, but I decided not to because I, oh, I love Moscow so much and mm -hmm. my friends is there, everything is there, so I want to be back to normal. So I want to, you know, just focus on things that I want. I want, so I just leave this cancer things behind. Okay. That's why I decided not to and flew back to Moscow and continue my study. All right. So mm -hmm. it what didn't set you, you know, cancer. You didn't let cancer set you back no, too no, much. No, no, no. Yeah. So, Doctor City, if you had a message for those who've been newly diagnosed or those who are undergoing treatment or those who are supporting, mm -hmm. you know, their loved ones, what would that message be? I will tell you: be happy, stay with your loved ones, find your own support. Let's say they can be from your friends, from your family, even yourself. But then you need that support within you and then be strong and find your one goal and fight for it. Forget about disease or cancer or anything because you can have cancer. But some people may have different problems, different disease. So everybody has their own uh, challenges. So maybe yours is cancer, but it's okay. Just focus on your goal and fight for it. Forget about cancer.